really annoys me when other people who are around the same age as me or younger claim to be photographers because they took a picture of a sunset that they think looked nice. Brackets, it never does. <laughs> I just got off a 15 hour flight from LA to Melbourne. Then I have a 14 hour, I had a 14 hour, a 14 hour nap. A, a 14 hour nap, a 40 minute nap. I mean, I had a, imagine having a 14 hour nap. I woke up from that and now I just feel, I have no idea where I am right now. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I do know one thing. It's Q&A Wednesday. If you haven't followed me on Instagram at Hey Sunscope Person, then definitely do that because if you do that, you can send me a DM. And then if you send me a DM on that, then I can get back to you in videos like today and then we can just chat, you know. Let's get into it. Hey Hayden, I'm 15 years old and I'm a really keen photographer, but it really annoys me when other people who are around the same age as me or younger claim to be photographers because they took a picture of a sunset that they think looked nice. Brackets, it never does. <laughs> You're a you are a savage. I like it. I feel like when you're starting out in photography, like the first thing, the most cliche thing a photographer wants to do is get a sunrise or a sunset. It's like, oh man, that, that sun in the distance. Look how inspiring that is. I want to really capture that. Okay, I'm not... If you take photos of sunsets and sunrises, I'm not poking shit at you. I'm just saying that's just like... It's very common and you know that. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's like beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Do you think this is a problem or have you seen this problem before? I've seen a lot of people message me about this problem and I don't know why this is a problem. Focus on the photos that you take. Don't like be like, oh, like I'm a photographer because I take better photos than you and you're not a photographer because you take photos of sunsets and sunrises. <laughs> what people say they are, what titles that they put on their Instagrams or whatever they say kind of thing, like, that doesn't matter. What does matter is you taking photos, you doing what you love, you focusing on the process and you staying in your own lane to make stuff and to put it up and like show the world what you've got. Hey, hey, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> Can you tell me what you think about this Morgan exposure Morgan exposure shot that I took? I'm a beginner. I'd really appreciate it if you could point out my flaws and I should in how I should what I should improve on. Love your videos, by the way. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. Thank you so much, a Jwemi. Jwemi. The long exposure shot is really nice. You really captured the rear of the cars going out into the distance and the obviously the front lights of the cars coming towards you kind of thing. What I would say that you could improve on about it is the composition. There's something called the rule of thirds. This is the most basic kind of composition rule. If you break it up into that, then the lines should kind of like line up with the grid on the photo kind of thing. And that's what makes it balanced. As humans, we really like to see things that are balanced and balance is something in photos like aka symmetry having that symmetry in your photos is really pleasing to the eye so the way to do that is pretty much if you cut down the center of the image and then you kind of just like reflected that and it had like perfectly reflected on that side and that side that would be perfectly balanced that would be perfectly symmetrical that's something that you should try and strive for in terms of this kind of photo. I would recommend that you move towards the center of the two roads. So you have one road going this way, one road going this way, rather than going one road straight down the middle and then one road off to the side, because it's unbalanced, you know what I mean? Hey, I just wanted some advice for my Instagram from you because it really is, it really, it really isn't growing. Like, critique my photos so I can understand what's going wrong. Please do. <laughs> yeah, actually, you're actually a talented photographer, man. I'm really liking the color scheme that you've got going on on your grid. Very vibrant colors. The problem is what you're focusing on. You're focusing too much on the outcome. You're focusing too much on the numbers. And this is something that I've actually done in the past with YouTube and it does nothing but set you up for failure, pretty much like burnout in what you're doing because like you're not focusing on the process. You're not focusing on what you love. You didn't come into photography because you wanted to get heaps and heaps of followers. If you did, then you're not doing it for the right reasons and to be honest, you're not gonna succeed at all if you're doing it just for the numbers. If you focus solely on doing what you love, which is photography, I assume, just focus on photography, focus on creating, don't worry about the numbers and everything like that. All of that stuff comes eventually. If you really wanna grow on Instagram a little bit quicker, obviously use hashtags. Any way that you can connect with an audience on like a personal level, that's really important. Like for me, like the way that I grew my following on Instagram 
was having pretty much my following from YouTube come over to Instagram. That's how I grew my Instagram. But for the people that actually just grow straight from Instagram, I'm, I'm not too familiar because that's not how I grew mine. I know that they do other things like, well, obviously like they're just super consistent. They try and post every single day. Consistency is key. Consistency is up here. Like that, that is the, that is the top thing. All of these like little growth strategies and hacks and everything like that, trying to shortcut the whole process. Like it, some little things can help, but that's not the things that you should focus on. Focus on the process and then everything will come eventually. Hey Don, I'm not even gonna, yeah. I'm a big fan of yours and your videos inspire me a lot. Keep it up, Mahan, Mahan, Mahan. Hayden Gang, Hayden Gang, love heart and he's got the bro fist. Subscribe to Pretty Pie. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Like what would we call ourselves if we had a name? Like you know how there's like, oh, like the, the low gang and like the, the Jake Polars and like the, the bro army for Pretty Pie and stuff like that. Like if there was one for us, what would we call it? Leave it down in the comments if you reckon that you have an idea. I honestly don't think that this would ever happen. And I really don't really, I don't really care about kind of labeling us as some sort of like army or something like that. But like if there was, it's like, what would you do? Well, would you be like the pedo army? The p <clears throat> That's, yeah, no. Nah. Cut, that's not happening. Q&A, love you so much. I love you so much too, uh, Colin Alexander 15. Love you. I, I don't know who you are, but I love you. <laughs> you are an amazing photographer. Thank you. I was wondering how to be more consistent with my photos. You know what you do? You go out, you take photos, just execute, that's it. It's just going out and doing it. Also, what's your favorite food? Pasta. Pasta's my favorite, then steak. Cannot stand potato. I cannot stand avocado. I cannot stand pumpkin. I cannot stand zucchini and yeah. Just know that you are amazing and inspire me every day to go out and take photos. You inspire people to keep doing what you are doing. If you could, if you could, can you put this in one of your Q and A's? That would mean the world to me. Have a wonderful day and happy holidays. Well, it's in the Q and A, Colin Alexander 15. Thank you so much. And it really, it really means a lot to me um, when, when you send messages like this. Well, when, any, when anyone sends me messages like that, I really do appreciate it. Although like sometimes it's hard for me to get around to every single message because I get a lot of messages these days. I really do appreciate it. I'm really happy that I inspire you. Anyways, that's the end of the Q&A session. I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you, but like I know like, I'll probably get back to you in a later Q&A session if you've sent me a message. But either way, um, yeah, send me a DM on Instagram at hey.com. At Hados underscore Pedersen if you haven't done that already. And if you haven't liked this video, maybe because if you haven't liked it already, then click that like button and uh, subscribe if you want. It's up to you. Just consider it. You know what? You know what to do. <laughs> it was awesome hanging out with you again. And I'll catch you next time.